We know our educators work hard, but sometimes fine arts teachers can be overlooked, and that's just one reason why Young Audiences Northeast Texas holds the annual Arts and Education Awards. And this year, we're teaming up to recognize those hardworking teachers safely from a distance. This morning, we have the pleasure of being joined by one Arts and Education Award recipient, Jamie Reason. She's been awarded the K Arms Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you so much for joining us, Jamie, and congratulations. Thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about your teaching background. How'd you get started and how'd you end up here? Well, it is quite long. Um, I have been teaching music for 50 years. Uh, I started as a high school student teaching private violin lessons to two little girls in my neighborhood. And then that summer following my sophomore year of high school, I had the opportunity to be a music teacher's aide for band and orchestra classes in the Castro Valley Schools in California for their summer music program. Then after I completed my bachelor's and my music teaching certification from Holy Names University in Oakland, California, I taught for four years in the San Lorenzo Schools in California two years at a junior high and then two years at a high school as their band director and instrumental music teacher. Then in 1981, my husband and I moved to Longview, Texas, and that began my music teaching career in the East Texas area. While living in Longview, I established a private music studio teaching violin and piano lessons, and I was also the instrumental music director at St. Mary's Catholic School in Longview. And then I have been teaching in the Tyler area since 1988, establishing an ongoing private string studio, which still operates to this day. And also um, in the early 90s, I was an adjunct violin instructor um, at UT Tyler for around nine years. Then, it, beginning in 2000, I was the orchestra director and strings teacher at the Brook Hill School in Bullard for 16 wonderful years. And then in 2016, I retired from my position at Brook Hill. And then since then, I have been a string specialist for TISD, working primarily with my daughter, Sarah, who is the orchestra director at Robert E. Lee High School. Wow, what an impressive resume right there. A <laughs> long list of experience. So kind of tell us how, you know, teaching changed over the years from grade levels to schools to different areas. Well, um, I, I have taught quite a variety of different uh, grade levels. When I was at Brook Hill, I taught grades um, kindergarten through 12. So obviously, um, you know, there's a different approach to teaching really little ones as opposed to, say, high school students. Um, just adjusting um, not only communication, but just even methods, uh, what relates to them. And then also just different uh, types of school environments, everywhere from public school teaching to very small private schools, um, just a variety, and of course, teaching in a private studio is also very different. So just a wide range to um, adapt and find things that relate to each of the students and their environments and um, what can motivate and excite them. Absolutely, one more question, Jamie, kind of tell me why you think that learning the fine arts is so important to our students. Oh, well, this is tremendous. Um, the fine arts is not only something that um, is academic and intellectual, but reaches down to the creative part and the emotional part of an individual. Um, and then also specifically what, what I do in instrumental music, um, there's been numerous studies shows that uh, learning an instrument triggers off more brain activity than anything else that we do in life. Um, so truly, if somebody is interested in their child being uh, very well-rounded, and especially in excelling in the academics, 
you would want them to study music because that would really help stimulate and exercise their brain in a greater capacity than anything else that they can do. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us this morning to chat with us. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely, and congratulations. Now, this young audience's event not only honors our amazing fine arts teachers across our area, but it's also an opportunity to raise some money for them to continue doing what they do, enriching the minds of our students. So if you can, consider donating in Jamie's honor to say a big thank you for her hard work as well as the hard work of others. You can do that at yanetexas.org.